Information Center. We are uh, at 13,200 feet on a southeast aspect. Slope angle is about 42 degrees. Um, we've got a snow pit here that is about 245 centimeters deep. Um, we've got uh, about almost almost 100 centimeters of facets at the bottom with a pretty stiff slab here in mid-pack. And the upper about five centimeters is is uh, wet grains from uh, this morning's sun. Um, we've isolated the column, but we've, we've isolated it a little bit over 100 centimeters from the surface. Let's see what test results we get. Ooh. So that was a compression test of 15. Um, it was a quality one, and it did fail on the on the facets that are. So this is the the slab in the mid pack. It's pretty firm. I think we were calling it a one finger hardness, but pretty pretty firm slab. But if you were able to trigger an avalanche, you'd most likely trigger this slab from where the slab is thinnest. The snowpack is more shallow, and it has the potential to propagate into deeper areas. Uh, Isolated and extended column test is 30 centimeters by 90 centimeters. We're going to see what test results we get. Okay, so we didn't get a failure on the extended column test. We are at just over 13,000 feet on an east aspect. Slope angle was uh, 37 degrees. Uh, we have a snow pit here measuring 215 centimeters. Um, the majority of this is a hard slab with facets at the bottom, um, pretty much all the way to the surface. Um, I've isolated a column for a compression test. We've isolated it to just over 100 centimeters from the surface. We're gonna see what test results we get. Think we might have gotten a failure there. So what we have here is the uh, hard slab that it's a uh, finger or more stiff, pretty much all the way to the top. We got about four fingers up here. So when you're skiing these slopes, it's gonna feel pretty good at the top, but you're gonna be skiing over a pretty big slab here. And at the bottom is, we've got very large grain facets. Here's the slab. Now we've fully isolated to the ground below the layer of the facets and we're going to do another compression test. Yeah, did. So that was a compression test of a 24. There was a failure; it didn't pop out. But here's the slab. It did fail on the on the facet slab interface. 